thinking about filming. Dalla and Nasi went to talk to Adnan by in stores. They had so much fun learning about all the amazing equipment in MTA. It's all really expensive and heavy, however, so we weren't allowed to use it ourselves. But the ladies' production team helped us film interviews at Fuzzle Mask and Battle for Tour so we could use them in our piece. They were so helpful and it was great fun to work with them. Filming was finally done. We all really enjoyed it, but it was hard work. Now we needed to start editing our piece. So we asked Naila Baji from the ladies' production team to, for help. Assalamu alaikum, Ali and Asha. I hear you're making something for this year's Dalsa. Wa alaikum assalam, Naila Baji. Yes, we have done all the filming. Now we just have to do the editing. OK, well, I can help you with that. What's important at the editing stage is that you have your storyboard. And I think you brought yours with you. Yes, yeah. What is editing? Editing is where you choose what you want to get rid of and what you want to keep from everything that you filmed. What if when you're filming you get it in the wrong order? That's okay, you can put it in the right order at this stage according to the scenes in your storyboard. But what if in one of my interviews I have a little laugh? That's okay as well, we can cut out all of the different takes and make sure it looks really professional in the final product. View. Should we get started? Yes. yes. As our piece is about Jelsa, she said we could use some of the footage from past Jelsas. That was really helpful, since Jelsa hadn't even started. That meant that our piece can be finished before Jelsa, so it can start airing as soon as possible. She also told us about adding sound effects, or even nozzles in the background, to draw in the viewer. After we had edited our piece, we realised that some of the interviews were in Urdu. That could have been a big problem, since not every child all around the world can understand Urdu. But thankfully, we were told that it would not be such a big problem after all. This is what subtitles are there for. Assalamualaikum, Baji. Assalamualaikum, Dalal. How can I help? Um, I wanted to know, how do you subtitle a program? So, to subtitle a program, we first need the translations from the translation department. Um, once we get the translation, we have this special software where, where, which we use to subtitle. Uh, you enter the translation into that, you open the video, and then you're ready to put all the subtitles on. How do you know if the subtitles are too light or dark for the background? So, uh, for that reason, so it doesn't interfere with the shots themselves, we put a box around it. White and black is very clear to see and then we can be sure that the subtitles are readable. We've made a piece for Joseph and it needs subtitling. Please can you help us with that? Yes, absolutely. Let me have a look. We can do that, inshallah. Uh, let's get on with it and I will get that to you soon. Jazakallah. Every programme produced in MTA needed colourful and interesting graphics, especially kids' programmes, to make it look really professional. So Ali and Arshi volunteered to go to the head of graphics to find out more. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. We are making a programme for MTA about kids at Jelsa. Mm -hmm. But we need your help with the graphics. Okay, sure. Why do we need graphics? Well, Arshi, that's a really good question. You see, we add graphics to make our programs look more creative. And especially if you're making a program for children, then you can use graphics to make it more eye-catching and entertaining. We made a video. Can we sh show you it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's have a look. Have you got any duties? Yes, I do. I got the water duty. I have the water giving duty when I give. Ghalib Bai showed Ali and Ashi the best techniques for graphics and asked him a lot of questions. How do you know which colours and shapes to use? Yeah, it's a really good question. The thing is, when we look at colours and shapes, all of that communicates different feelings and emotions. Um, so if you do something with very dark colours, it's not going to look very happy. And in the same way, if you want someone to feel happy when they see it, you can use brighter colours. So we use basically that principle, and for each colour, that represents different emotions that we try to communicate. So for this year, we're trying to focus on Jelsa being a happy place that people are coming together from all different countries. So we're using quite bright colours and very modern shapes to make it look like a fun, modern event. 
How do you know which fonts to use? So if you're making um, some graphics for your program which is going to be viewed by children, it's a good idea to use larger fonts that's easier for them to read and maybe you can use some with some more fun shapes in the fonts as well to make it look more interesting. Okay? Yes. Hooray! We're finished! Well, that was hard work. Finally, it was time to see if after all the effort the piece could be broadcasted on MTA. Time to visit the manager and director, Munir Odin Shamsab, and show him what we had done. Assalamu alaikum, Shamsab. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you? Good, alhamdulillah. Yes. What can I do for you? Oh, we have made a short piece for Jalsa Salan and we needed your final approval before it's sent to transmission. Let me see. How do you feel about Jalsa? I feel quite exhilarated as there are loads of fun things to do there. Right. Well, well done. Looks good. What do you want to do with that then? You want to broadcast it on MT yeah. International? Okay, what you can do is, uh, when you, you know, finalize it, give it to the programming department. They will just check everything. And uh, if everything is okay, then they will be sending it to the scheduling department who will schedule the program when it is going to be broadcast and then it would be sent to the transmission department and then inshallah it would be broadcasted. That's great. Jazakallah for your guidance and help. You're welcome. Alhamdulillah, Shamsab liked our piece. As Shamsab suggested, we went to Kasib Bai for final approval. This was a bit nerve-wracking, as it was the final step before we would definitely know that our programme could be aired. We went to his office where he watched our programme. It was a nail-biting moment. But he approved it, alhamdulillah. Now it's off to scheduling to find out when our piece will be scheduled for. Alia spoke to Haneen Baji. We've just made a programme for Jalsa, and Shamsab told us to come to the scheduling department to get it scheduled. How does the schedule look like? Schedule look like, okay. This is how our schedule looks like. Wow, that's colourful. Isn't it? The schedule is colourful because it's colour coded. Can you schedule our programme? Finally, our programme was done and scheduled and viewers all over the world will get to see on MTA International very soon. The transmission department even explained to Dalha how they're going to play our programme from Fuzzle Mask during Jalsa. They put the final programme into their playlist and on the scheduled day and time it will be broadcast to the world right now. <laughs> How do you feel 